What's up YouTube? It's me 360 Wave Process Rashad and today I'm about to give y'all five quick and easy tips to get deep visible 360 waves for beginners. Now these tips are very important so I need y'all to get y'all a notepad if y'all got one. Take these tips down and then make sure you put it under your pillow and go to sleep with them so you never forget these tips. That's how important these tips are. The first tip, very important tip, and it, re it revolves around a brush. The brush is very important. So what you're going to have to do is get a great brush. And if I could just recommend one right off the bat, this right here is a medium brush. It's a fork breaker and I recommend you start off with a good medium brush just like this one. And you could get this specific brush. If you're a beginner, this brush would take you all the way from no waves to deep visible 360 waves with daily brushing. Okay. So that brush. Or if you want an oval type handle brush, go ahead and get you this red edition with the handle. That is also an excellent brush to begin with. It's almost like if you was a mechanic, you can't get the job done without the proper tools. And that's how important a brush is. If you start a job on a car and you don't got, let's just say, the tools to get the tire off, you can't change the tire. If you don't have a brush and the, the correct brush, then you can't get 360 waves, all right? So I really recommend you start off with a nice, good medium brush and you can check my website, link in the description. The next tip, we're moving quickly on this one, y'all. We're moving quick, all right? The barber, your barber is very important. I say this because if you don't have a good barber, it's gonna have you losing progress when you don't really need to lose progress. I'll tell y'all a quick story. Back when I was in my journey to complete my 360 wave pattern, I had a barber who was not very consistent with his haircuts. Some days it'd be good, it'd be excellent. My lineup would be crispy, um, my progress uh, will increase, and I'd be glad that I got um, some good progress after brushing a lot. But then other days, other times I go get my haircut, my lineup wouldn't be sh that straight, and I got videos of this, y'all. I didn't notice when I got out the chair that my lineup wasn't at, uh, as straight as it should have been, but when, then when I got on video, you know, I filmed the 360 wave video, I, I see my hairline was crooked, and y'all even let me know, like, Rashad, your, hair, your hairline leaning, what happened? But you know what I'm saying? Now, I got a barber who was very consistent with the lineups and all that. I gotta unrag real quick, show y'all what my wave's looking like in this aqua. Blue 3WP do-rag out now on the 360-way process website. It's a brand new do-rag, all right? So I'm gonna uh, just unrag real quick. Show y'all what the waves are looking like. It's looking real cool. You can zoom in? You zoomed in? How, how much did you zoom in? <laughs> Enough? All right, cool. It's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that part out. <laughs> Come on, zoom yeah. back in. Are you ready? Yeah, zoom in. in? Okay. Zoom in. It was yeah. already it's still recording, right? Yeah. So yeah, y'all. You can see the waves right here. Let me make sure the sunlight hit that. My hairline is straight, crispy during this haircut. And that's all you can ask for as a waver. Show y'all what the back is looking like. I do need to work on my crown a little bit. I need to hit it with my crown brush. Now, I don't know the angle. Well, actually, I do know that this, but that's just one angle. It's like another little angle I need to do with the crown brush. And we're going to talk about that in one of the next tips. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Your barber is very important. If your barber is not consistently cutting your hair very well each time, then you might have to go and explore and find a new barber. All right, y'all? All right, that's what I really want to stress to y'all. We're going to move on to that third tip, y'all. We're moving through this real quick. Let's go. Let me go ahead and, and get this. Hair products. Oh, hair products, y'all. This is very important because y'all want to know how to get your waves to look shiny, right? Y'all want to know how to make your waves uh, stay from uh, over curling, right? Hair products will help you control those factors. Now, 
Y'all already know I've been working on this 3WP butter for the longest. And I got some 3WP butter right here. And it's available on the 360 Wave Process website now. Now, y'all, look, check this out. <clears throat> it came out like two weeks ago, but I haven't really been promoting it because I had to wait on an ingredient so I could complete the butter, all right? But that ingredient is here now, and I'm gonna be able to um, mix up the butter and get that out to everybody who pre-ordered. And I'm gonna have to be able to do a review soon. I'm gonna send it out to certain 360 Wave YouTubers, like 360, uh, I'm gonna send it to Wave Man Mike. I'm, I'm gonna send it to, uh, who else could I send it to? Rico and see what they think about it. And yeah, we're gonna get those reviews out. And then the Ocean Squad, send me reviews too when y'all get that 3WP butter I posted on my Instagram, all right? But yeah, the Wave product is very important, y'all. Don't forget that. You're gonna need one that you know will give your hair some good hold. You're gonna need another moisturizer because sometimes, like when you're woofing, your hair may look dry. You might not need too much hold. You hit that, hit your hair with that moisturizer and that'll do the job as long as you keep it laid down with the do-rag, you feel me? And also, no, I haven't been recommending this, y'all, but a pomade. I've, I've, I, I'm gonna let y'all know I used a pomade recently, y'all, but it don't have any unnatural ingredients, but we're gonna speak on that more in the future. So hair product, let me make sure I, I said all the points that I want to, wanted to say. Oh yeah, I stopped using products for a minute, y'all, because when I was, when I knew that I was coming out with my 3WP butter, I didn't really want to use any other products like that. But then I did not perfect my formula, so I wasn't using it. You know, I wasn't using it. I wasn't using anything. Maybe I put a little bit of oil in my hair, but overall, I wasn't using any products like that. And then after not using products for months at a time, consistently, I noticed my hair looked different. It kind of almost looked dry when I was woofing. And I know that's not normal because if, if I think back to earlier in my wave journey, when I was using products consistently, my hair didn't look that dry and it didn't over curl like that when um, back then. So I know that not using products changes the hair and so that's how, why I'm telling y'all, the product is very important. Yeah, now that I'm perfecting my 3WP butter formula and releasing it basically this week, it's, it should be out now. By the time I release this video, I'm gonna give y'all a review on my 3WP butter, all right? So yeah, we're gonna move on to the next tip. What, we, we on four now, y'all? All right, four, let me make sure I got this. Beginners. Oh, we moving to tip four. Let me make sure I got this for y'all, mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Mirror, 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 y'all. Mirror brush work is very important. So, you get your regular brush time throughout the day, that's good. That's gonna get you very far. But, you could ask any experienced waiver, without a good amount of mirror brush work, you're gonna get forks, and those forks will not be broken easily, all right? It'll take you years upon years to break those forks without a good old fashioned hand mirror like this, all right? So get that and then you need a stationary wall mirror like the one that's in the bathroom that you, you brush your teeth in and then you, you know what I'm saying? You make sure you get your angles correct using that mirror. If you're a beginner and you don't do that, you are not gonna get good progress. Like you're gonna wonder why some dudes like me got waves that look like this and why your waves not getting on that level my battery running low but we're gonna get this video filmed all right so don't forget about the mirror that's really important we're gonna move on to that next tip tip number five it's the final tip do rag do rag do rag now some of y'all may have an issue with wearing y'all do rag every night i never used to have that issue but more recently so, I've been having that issue and I haven't been wearing my do-rag nightly. So, what I could say for y'all, as a beginner, you cannot afford to do that. So, you're gonna have to go ahead and deal with that and wear your do-rag. Um, and, 
Shoot, Ocean Squad, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Make sure you got a good silky. Now, y'all already know I have a variety of silkies available, like my Burgundy 3WP silky. I got the, well, that sold out. The Navy Blue 3WP silky. This one also sold out. But look, I'm coming out with a new set of do-rags, and this, I'm gonna have the Navy Blues back in stock. I'm gonna have that Navy Blue with the uh, black stitching, silky version, all right? So make sure y'all stay tuned for those. Y'all already know I got the velvets on deck, like the dark gray silky velvet. And then, yeah, you already know that that blue, royal blue with the white stitching. This one right here is an all-time favorite of the Ocean Squad. That red silky, this one actually sold out too, but I got the red silky with the black stitching coming with my new do-rags that's coming out um, in a few months, all right? Beyond that, I got the new durags I just dropped, like this dark blue, dark sky blue silky right here. This was actually available in the, uh, it was in the Atlanta Wave Check video. A couple of the Ocean Squad members had them on, but I never had it on the website. But now it's on the website, all right? I just dropped them. Also that, what's this, turquoise? That turquoise silky right here, this is an all-time favorite. I thought I sold out of these, but I actually got these on the website, so y'all be able to get that. And then the teal, this is a new color that just came out as well. That's available on 360wayprocess.com. Now, I only been wearing my do-rag after fresh cuts. But when it's like two weeks after a fresh cut, I'm not wearing my do-rag. And like I said, y'all beginners, y'all can't afford to do that. So make sure you get you a nice, good, silky do-rag. And if you need a good one, I got them available on 360wayprocess.com. All right, y'all. That was tip number five. But wait, I got a bonus tip. Conditioning and shampoo your hair. I haven't really been doing that recently as much as I used to. And I've noticed a change in my hair. Now, I film myself and I take pictures of my hair real often, like, every week you know what i'm saying so i really noticed changes in my hair and if i compare my hair back then when i was shampooing and conditioning regularly i could tell you all i do i did notice a change in my hair it wasn't looking as naturally shiny and i do attribute that to me not washing and conditioning as often as i used to all right so as a beginner you can't lack on that shampoo and conditioning now uh uh question that I get often is how many times should I shampoo my hair and wash my hair a week now I used to say one to three times a month but I say at least once a week so that's four times a month once a week that's my new recommendation all right to my beginners out there I say that now because like I was telling y'all when I was talking about the hair products I haven't really been using products lately but then I, I mentioned that I was using the, the the pomade and trying stuff out like I was trying my, my formulas but and when I was trying my formulas, I noticed that since I'm using stuff daily, it's better for me to wash my hair at least once a week because buildup does occur, especially when you're using daily. All right, y'all? Um, and that's what I wanted to let y'all know. That was, oh, one more bonus. Make sure you subscribe to the 360 Wave Process email list on 360wayprocess.com. Just go to the website right on the homepage. You're going to see sign up for the email list. Join the 3WP Wave family email list, and you'll get a disc. No, you know, get a discount. But like, I send information like through the through the email, y'all. I don't spam y'all up and send y'all irrelevant stuff. But I send tips, motivation. Occasionally, I send emails with like new product updates, and that do be having like coupon codes. So that'll help you out if you want to scoop um, any other 3WP products. I'll give you a discount code for making it this far into the video. Use the code Red 3WP. For a discount on your next order you can use that for a do-rag or one of the, the brushes that that you might need to get starting your journey and yeah y'all i'm 360 way process rashad boost the like button subscribe that has been five tips to make your 360 waves deep and visible for beginners i'm out deuces see you on my next video Pssh.